A pesky weed known as milfoil has been invading some area lakes for a couple of years. Ignacio Garcia reports this weed grows quickly and is a big nuisance that's likely to get much worse. Rob and Alex have been playing on Lake Austin for many summers, but this year's milfoil is getting in the way of their fun. It feels really weird against your legs and it gets all up in your legs and when you're swimming, it's all over you. So it's. It's very weird. They say the gunky weed is invading their favorite spot. It's rough with like, it's kind of hard with like tubes that come up and then leaves that come off of it, like, like that. Do you ever get it tangled on your feet or anything when you're swimming? Yeah, all the time. Christian Garcia says fishing used to be a lot more fun before the weed invasion. Well, we go out and throw our lures out, our bait, and hoping we get a fish, but then we reel it back in only to find milfoil. You think you have a fish on, but it, you reel it back in and it ends up being weeds. It's hot and moist and very muggy out here, and that's exactly how this underwater plant thrives. And with no rain in sight, the problem is gonna get much worse. The LCRA says milfoil is also out of control on Lake LBJ. We're in the midst of a very severe drought right now. The conditions are ideal for milfoil growth. Long, hot, sunny days, shallow water, and really low flow all contribute to the milfoil growth. Texas Parks and Wildlife has been wrestling with a milfoil problem on Lake Austin for a couple of years, feeding the waters with weed-eating Asian carp, but the results are mixed. Meantime, all Alex and Rob can do is work on their landing and try to avoid the prickly weed. On Lake Austin, Ignacio Garcia, KXAN News. This nasty milfoil is only spreading on certain area lakes. Looking in depth, milfoil is causing problems on Lake Austin and Lake LBJ. That's where the plant is growing rapidly. But it's not a problem on the other highland lakes like Inks, Buchanan, and Lake Travis. That's because milfoil has its roots on the floor of the lake. Waterways like uh, Lake Travis have rocky bottoms that keep this ugly plant from taking root. There is some milfoil on Ladybird Lake, mainly in the cooler waters near the mouth of Barton Creek. But the thing most people are seeing is a water plant called Kabamba. It sprouts white flowers and it spreads across the water. It's bad for rowers, but folks with the city tell us Kabamba is good for the lake. The plant is thriving now largely because there's less water flow to sweep the plant away.